Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over one worked example to show you how to do problems involving moment of inertia. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. So in our one and only question here, it says to determine whether a disc or a ring of material of mass 2 kilograms and radius 0.4 meters is easier to accelerate. There's our disc and there's our ring, and in both cases, they have a mass of 2 kilograms and a radius of 0.4 meters. But the idea here is that the mass is going to be distributed differently. So in the case of the disc, the mass is going to be spread evenly over the disc, whereas for the ring, all of its mass has to be distributed around the edge like this. But in both cases, the axis of rotation will be in the centre. So looking at the disc first of all, we can write down what we know from the question. So the moment of inertia of the disc is what we're trying to find. We know the mass is 2 kilograms, the distance from the axis of rotation is 0.4 meters, and so we can write down our equation for the moment of inertia of a disc. And you'll get this in the relationship sheet in the exam. So it says that I disc equals a half times mr squared, and substituting in the numbers, we have a half times 2 times 0.4 squared, and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 0.16 kilogram meter squared. Looking at the ring this time, the moment of inertia of the ring is what we're trying to find. The mass is again 2 kilograms, and the distance from the axis of rotation is again 0.4 meters. This time, our relationship for the moment of inertia of a ring, again, you would get given this in the exam, is mr squared. So instead of a half mr squared, it's just mr squared, just like it is for a point mass. So substituting in the numbers, we have 2 times 0.4 squared, which is equal to 0.32 kilogram meter squared. So you should be able to see that the moment of inertia for a ring is twice as big as the moment of inertia for a disc. So we can therefore say that it's harder to accelerate a ring-shaped object as it has a higher moment of inertia and most of the mass is a further distance from the axis of rotation. And you can see that in the picture that most of its mass is a further distance from the axis of rotation in the middle compared to the disc where all of the mass was spread evenly over the surface. And remember, the greater the moment of inertia an object has, the more difficult it is to start rotating that object and also to stop rotating that object. That's all from me, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.